We're at the Fitker's Brewery Complex. I'm here with Frank. He's the master brewer. Everybody's heard about Fitker's beer. Very, very famous beer. So today, I'm going to help them brew some beer. And we're up here at uh, the actual site of the brewery. So, Frank, let's talk about, so this is the first step in you guys brewing the beer, right? Yep. First step in the process today, what we're doing is we're taking our malted barley, which is our sugar source for our yeast, combining it with hot water and uh, what there's an enzyme reaction taking place. So that starches are converted into sugars. All right. And the sugars are what the yeast are going to feed on to make the beer. So how long does it take? I know you guys brewed some beer this morning. How long does it take for the whole process? Well, like for today, for two, we're doing two batches of beer. We start at six in the morning, we'll be done about six at night. And then after today, the yeast have to do their work. The beer will be ready to drink in about three weeks. So do you guys have any special beers given the fact of October? I'm sure you guys kind of change things up. We do What's change your... things up, yeah. Seasonally, like we just actually ran through our Oktoberfest beer. It was really popular, and that just ran out recently. We're moving on to some other fall beers. Uh, we're actually making our cranberry beer very soon for Thanksgiving coming up. Oh, nice. And um, yeah, so seasonally, we have our pumpkin beer on tap right now too. So, so do you guys have specific beer tasters? Do you guys, after you make a batch, if somebody tastes it, make that's, sure it's yeah, good? that's our job, yeah. <laughs> Not a right. bad job. Yeah. So we're going to get things fired up here. Uh, the first stage of making some delicious, famous Fitker's beer. Actually, one of the easy things I can have you do is, uh, when we're ready for you, we can have you dump these salts into the mash tun. This is gypsum. Okay. Calcium sulfate. And we add, uh, we're really fortunate because Lake Superior water is like awesome. Drink water. It's awesome drinking water. Right. It's awesome. It's awesome drinking water. I have a lot of friends that brew beer in the Twin Cities. And I don't know how to make good beer with the water down there. Right. Part of the reason it's just not very high quality, but it's also really hard. A lot of a lot of hardness in the water, a lot of minerals in the water. And um, there's some beer styles that that works well for, but there's others that it just doesn't. Like it ends up hard. It lends, it lends a harsh character to the beer. Right. The water in clear is really soft, and so what that means is it's got a very low mineral content. But that means you can always add some minerals to it if you need to for the style. Well, gypsum is calcium and sulfate, uh, and when you put them in beer, it increases the perception of hot bitterness. We're making our El Nino IPA today, so we want to have some of that extra hot bitterness perception. So we put some calcium sulfate in the water. Okay. So cool. Okay. We're gonna have you dump this into the mash tun at any point here. And you can just throw it in the big old tub there. Okay, I'm dumping this in. Big thanks to Frank and his crew at Fitker's Brewery for letting me have a little bit of a hand in making this uh, batch of beer that's coming out today.